Joe, uh, you know, thank you for calling. It says that you want to discuss the contingency and the cosmological arguments. Now, the thing is that that's a very good question for Matt because he can break down the arguments and the structures and all that. And I can't really do that. What I'd really like to do is is to just kind of break it down in a in a very non-traditional way. But I think that that will take a lot more time than 30 seconds. Um, so yeah, that's, that's I, what I'd fine. really like... Uh, go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'm not like some uh, brilliant mind or anything. So I just think, you know, they're just simple arguments. And I've, I've listened to Matt's arguments before, and I don't... Uh, I don't particularly agree with him. So, yeah. Well, I, I, I'd love to chat with you. Um, please feel free to call back um, when I'm on. If, if if I'm on, you can be the first caller that I'd take. Just just tell the call screener. Hopefully, you'd be able to call back another week and they'll be able to take you then pretty quickly. Um, but we do have a Discord server and those fan groups that we talked about. So, hopefully, we can get you taken care of no matter what. You don't, you don't want to talk about it at all. You don't want to talk about it at all. Uh, well, there, there was actually one. Ask, oh, did you? Not, yeah, I'm actually curious uh, as okay, well. Okay, let's let's give it a try. You, let's let's hang on as long as people will. <laughs> okay. Well, there there was one aspect of your notes here that said your your confidence level in faith is ninety percent. So I'm wondering. You mentioned the contingency uh, and the cosmological argument. Is faith a factor here, or I, I'm not sure why that was. Uh, you didn't mention that at all, but I don't want to foist anything on you. That, yeah, that's that's just what the caller screener said. What percentage are you and i said 90 percent, whatever it's not really a big oh thing. okay you're 90 percent confident that these are no, good reasons i think i think they the arguments from contingency and uh like the kalam cosmo cosmological arguments are are pretty good arguments okay here's my question to you when did you discover these arguments like what what year I don't know what year, but obviously, you know, I've looked on, you know, YouTube. I've followed guys like Ed Fezzer and uh, William Lane Craig, and I know atheists mm -hmm. are fans of William Lane Craig, but, uh, so yeah. Here's my question. Okay. Were you less confident God was real before you discovered these arguments? Did these boost your confidence in the cl in the claim that God was real? Uh, yeah, I, I think uh, the uh, arguments lead to uh, God's existence, yes. But okay. uh, I was probably an ag agnostic most of my life. Mm -hmm. Then in that case, just for anyone listening, this would be something that we'd want to explore with Joe because it seems like it's a spoke in his wheel for contributing to his confidence. Now, if he had said, well, no, I was always 90%, then there's probably <laughs> something else boosting it. So, but I have to, I have to, um, I don't know, Jenna, if this is something that you want to proceed on or it, were, we, were we wrapping it up? I, I don't want to step on your toes here. Um, well, I'd say I haven't heard anything about we have to stop right now. So let's go ahead and see see how far we can go. Maybe you'll give it a couple minutes. Um, okay. Fire away. Yes. So of those two, let's let's pick one just in the interest of time. Like, which one do you think? Okay. Let's, you, uh, uh, I was just, um, I guess. Are contingency is fine. I mean, the fact that you can't have, I don't think we can have an infinite regress of events going backwards forever that leads to something which is eternal. Mm -hmm. How are you with saying, I don't know, when it comes to that question? Do you, do you feel that you have to give an answer to that? Like, are you comfortable sitting on the fence think, until there's. Of course, you can say, I don't know for anything. I mean, we could say, I don't know, you know, for lots of things, but I think. Why are you not saying I don't know to that question? I think that you cannot have an infinite regress of events is pretty, I think we know that. I think just by it, basic it, logic. It, it seems intuitive. It does seem intuitive. But then again, there are a lot of things that seem well, intuitive that when we well, start gathering more evidence, we, we've discovered that maybe that uh, that we were mistaken on it. So um, is there any, is there any uh, evidence that might back up your your view that that's a good reason to think that a God is real. Well, me... or, or are you saying that, well, I just can't imagine it being any other way. So therefore I'm on good footing. Are you saying that or something else? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm okay. Saying, do you think we can have, do you think we can have an infinite set of events before now? Infinite set of events. I don't know. One by one. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know. And I don't know if I could 
well, I mean, rule out i don't know if i could rule out natural explanations for a start like maybe maybe it, it could naturally be the it'd be the case that there's a natural explanation of of that first cause so well, there can't be but 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 i'm not i'm not advocating that that's the answer i'm not saying i'm 90 percent sure that there's no god because i just can't imagine there not being a natural cause for it do you follow me but uh, yeah. it seems like you you are saying that um you just can't imagine it any other way therefore you're on good footing to be 90 percent sure no I, I didn't say that at all i think you're, i'm i'm just talking about the impossibility of an incident set of events before now that's all it's, I'm it, it seems it seems impossible but are we justified in saying that it is impossible is it possible to count to infinity that's impossible, right? That's a whole different question. It's the same thing. I mean, you cannot cross an infinite set of events. It goes forever. Cross? Yes. Yeah, so there's an infinite regress of events. That means you would have to cross, traverse an infinite set of events, right? Well, I'm not saying that there is an infinite set of events. You're the one that's saying that. Well, yeah, if I if I'm if I'm following you correctly, yeah, I'm saying it's impossible. That means there was a first cause, correct? I don't know. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> I'm not trying to be difficult. I'm trying to be honest. Mm -hmm. I really don't know the answer to it, and it's tempting to think that I do have the answer because I just can't imagine it being any other way. It's one of those risks that we have to watch out for that our brains don't jump to conclusions and settle on things that seem like they, they make the most sense. Right. I, like, I'm inclined to say, no, that's impossible too, but I don't know. Yeah. And, and we're not trying to be uh, okay. obscurantist or difficulty or, or get in, you right. know, throw sand in the gears here. But, but it, it just seems like um, until we can really understand what's happening, we have to be undecided about it. That, that seems to be the most honest position to be. Uh, I mean, I just kind of, I, I disagree. I think it's, I think there's obviously things we can be undecided about. I just think it's pretty obvious that I think a lot of people, I think we can say, I don't know to the cows, you know, forever, but, but mm -hmm. I think, uh, it's pretty obvious logically that we cannot cross an infinite set of events to get to well, but do you, but do you think that it's dishonest? Because what he's, what you said you disagree with is that it's dishonest when we don't know, you think that it's, it's a better option to say that we do know when we don't but, but i think we you know yeah I, well you can say you don't know i mean i know that you can't cross an infinite set of events but we don't okay. know i think okay let's let's go let's 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 just maybe for the purpose of this call grant you that premise how do we get to a god how are you ruling out natural a natural explanation for a first cause a natural action. So, so, so the camp. How, it can't, how did you rule? How did you exclude it? What is, define natural? What does that mean? Natural. Well, that's a good question. Um, something observable, observ observable in the in the material universe, I suppose. Something uh, tangible and observable. So, I should uh, probably uh, look uh, up that word. Are you a, are you a, are you a materialist? I don't know what those labels mean. Yeah, like, let's. We don't need to pull out labels. Yeah. Okay. Well, but here's my question: Like, how did how did you exclude that that a first cause couldn't have naturally occurred? Because that's the sense that I'm getting that 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 is your position that you've excluded it, you've ruled it out. It's impossible that they could, that the first cause could have been natural. And I'm wondering how you excluded it. Well, the first cause couldn't logically come from nothing, right? You would agree with that, wouldn't you? I don't know. Why would we say that? Why would we say that? Well, the first cause, you know, just it, it, it's an event that happened. So it had to come mm -hmm. from something. Something mm -hmm. had to cause the first event. Maybe. We don't even, honestly, we don't really know that there was a first cause. Like there could have just been always something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. uh, We're just saying we don't know. 
but, but we're not here to talk about what we think. We'd like to figure out what you think, but it sounds like you just want to talk about what we think. I don't, I'm just, I'm telling you logically what there cannot be an infinite set of events. You say, I don't know. Then I say, okay, well, and then you're saying, okay, it's natural. And I say, okay, well, the first event can't cause itself. Right. Well, I, th I think we were, at least I was giving you, uh, acknowledging that let's, let's say that there is a first event, a first cause. Um, how are, how, yeah, I feel like I'm repeating myself here. How are you ruling out some other explanation then? It had to be a, I think that's what you're saying, right? There's a super. So, there. so when you say that it's something that we just know, if there is anything that I know, let's well, say, for example, I know that I am sitting down and how do I know that I am sitting down? I can look, I can feel it. I can, I can verify that I am sitting down. How can we verify what we just know that the universe was caused? How can, how can we check? That's the question. Because there's anything else that's true, anything else that I can say that I know, I can verify. Okay, the, there are logical impossibilities, right? Logical contradictions. <laughs> okay. I, there. I think that this is a good time to wrap up the call. Um, uh, okay. Yeah, this is a logical contradiction to cross an infinite set of events. That's a logical contra contradiction. So, uh, yeah, we can know things like that we see and touch. And, you know, I'm just making an argument for why God exists or why I think God is the best explanation for the beginning of existence at all. I understand it, and I appreciate that, and I'm sorry that we weren't more helpful, but unfortunately, you were the last caller, and we didn't have all the time in the world to offer you, so maybe you can call back next time, and we can start with talking about that. We can start talking about, um, was it logical contradiction? And I think Matt would also be a good guy to talk to. All right, thanks for the call. Yes, well, one last question. I was just wondering if... Is Anthony ever uh, skeptical about uh, atheism? If Anthony is skeptical mm. about atheism. Well, atheism, as I define it, is the belief that there are no gods, which is a controversial definition, especially I understand in, in this venue, or um, not being convinced that there's a god. Yeah, I'm, very, I'm, I'm skeptical of my own position on pretty much everything, including that one. Yeah, I'm not con I'm not a hundred percent sure that there are no gods. If that helps uh, clarify things. All right, thank you. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Hopefully, we can talk again soon.